And we are stuck. What a frickin' day this has been for Tom. I feel so bad right now. Um, so let's back up. This day starts off with us all waking up at 3.30 in the morning. So Tom comes to grab Natalie and I from the cabin, put the snowmobile on the back of the trailer. Uh, we pack up the truck, everything's all merry. We get back on the road by about 4.30 and uh, we start driving. We have about a two and a half hour drive. We get about two hours into the drive and we stop at a gas station. And uh, at the gas station, there's an old lady and she says, hey, you know what guys, there's a lot of snow where you're going. You guys aren't gonna make it. We didn't choose to listen to this old lady. We decided to send it down the road and had a couple snow drifts on it. Little did we know that those couple snow drifts were about four feet tall and there weren't a couple snow drifts. It was one big snow drift that went across the whole road. Well, we are uh, about a mile or two from the lake and we are stuck in a whole lot of snow. So time to get digging. So we get the truck stuck with the dual axle trailer and right away a snow plow truck comes down and tries to help us. Now this guy, he comes out with his dog, just all burly and happy to help. It's negative 15 degrees out, Buddy shows up in jeans. So he brings out a tow strap, says, you guys need a tow, all right, sounds good. You guys look pretty screwed. Let's, uh, let's, get, you, let's get you on the, on the back of this truck and I'll pull you right out. Okay, sounds good, thanks man. <sighs> Connect the tow strap to the back of the trailer, which was not a good idea. Ready? Couple jerks later, you got a broken axle. Not good. Bent out, tires are cambered, looks disgusting. Okay, that sucks. Sounds like a good one. What can we do? Yeah, can we help? Buddy ends up pulling us out with the trailer. First, we take everything off the trailer, move it out, snowmobiles, ATV, get the ATV stuck, Flip the trailer around, get it towed out, get the truck unstuck, load everything back up, take the tires off the trailer, make it a single axle trailer, load everything back up. At that point we were like, you know what? What's the worst that could happen today? There, the worst has already came. What, what's gonna happen? One of us could maybe die, but that's probably about it. <sighs> so we pack up the truck again. We find a different road to the lake that's plowed and we get to the boat launch. get over it I don't know I think it might just be a little much and the boat launch has a little goat trail on it and the goat trail is still about three feet tall with snow now that's still a lot of snow but we have two snow wheels so we decide you know what we're gonna try it we're gonna grab the auger we're gonna grab a couple graphs we're gonna get the heck out of here I think I'm gonna go out there and get to the spot okay, okay. We're gonna see what happens. Full scent. We have nothing left to really break. The lake's a little slushy. Uh, I had a guy drive by tell us there's like foot of slush out there. I think it's manual. We can see if we can get out there, number one, and uh, hopefully catch a fish. Tom comes out, brings the graph, says, okay, made it just completely fine. Tom comes out again, just to make sure you can get to the spot. Drops the graph off, says, okay, guys, we can make it to the spot. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna be able to fish. What, you want me to come with? Are you good to go? Yeah, f it. Sounds good, Tom. Uh, I'm gonna grab the auger. Let's let's hop, hop on the bottom of the sled and let's get the heck out there. Tom and I voyage John out, make it out here about a half mile, and we get out here, 
go to pop the first hole and what happens? The auger doesn't work. <laughs> Does it? Eh? Yeah. Kind of need an auger. You, you kind of need an auger. Catch some fish. <sighs> it's just tough today. Completely the weather's fault. The auger throttle cable is seized up from the cold and refuses to move. That's why it broke. It just is such a buzzkill that we can't fish today. And right now I'm actually in the middle of a lake that I have no idea where we are with nobody around. I have a Vexlar, but if I have to survive in this, like, I'm kind of screwed. Might, might have a survival series coming your guys' way. <sighs> All right, well, hopefully this day turns up. <coughs> I don't even know if I want to fish anymore today, honestly. This is the kind of stuff that happens when you're ice fishing, and this is the kind of stuff that happens when you're ice fishing in February. Absolutely brutal. I'm so sorry, Tom. Pray for me. Pray that my day gets better. I please help. Help me. Help Tom. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna shut this off. I'm going psycho right now. Goodbye. I think you should leave it, if you don't mind. All right guys, what the hell just happened? Was... Like, where do we even start? We, uh, we've been trying here. to get, we've been trying to ice fish for, I think we're going out about 13 hours right now. We are and on I the think lake. We're on the lake, we made it. I think that we've said four or five times today, we, we gave it everything we could. Yeah. Kept trying. Broke throttle cable on auger, got that fixed. Got out here, hit, I don't know, three feet deep, snow and slush. About that much water under the snow. Got the snowmobile stuck, got the snowmobile unstuck. We could technically fish, but it's probably just too much to try to get back, so I don't know. This this is what you call failure for a day. <laughs> this is what defeat looks like. <laughs> That's what defeat looks like. Yeah. That's what defeat looks like. And this is definitely what defeat looks like. Let's get back in the car and get freaking warm. Hands down. Absolutely, no doubt about it. One of the worst days of fishing I've ever had in my life. Does but it count as a day of fishing? No. It 100%. Oh, no. We thought, no? Well, we, did, we didn't even fish. Comment below. <laughs> yeah, comment Does below if you think count? this counts as a day of fishing. This was this was a tough day, and you know it just conditions. Goes... This is a lot of what everybody's experiencing right now across ice country. Insane yep. amounts of snow, insane amounts of slush. Tough to get anywhere. Tough to fish. Um, snowmobiles getting stuck, four wheelers not even an option, truck, there's no way you're getting on a lake. And uh, we got stuck with everything but the four wheeler today, that's because we didn't even try to send it with the four wheeler. So this morning we woke up and we asked ourselves the question, how do you fish in three and a half feet of snow? And today, boys, we learned a, a wise lesson here. You don't. The answer is, yeah, you don't. You, just you don't. don't do it. Is your camera still alive? It's still alive. My, my camera did take a beating today, but we're going to make sure that everything works. We're going to get back home. We're going to have a nice cheeseburger, maybe some french fries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> maybe a beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and in the wise words of Tom, do you even grind, though? Do you even do grind? You even grind? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode. <laughs> Until next time, tight lines. Hopefully the lines are tight next time or even in the water at all. <laughs> Bye.